What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here with your $600 second stimulus check update and your $2,000 third stimulus check update. Lots of news for you guys, lots of breaking news, new information coming out as we're getting closer to inauguration day. We're starting to get more details of multiple stimulus plans and packages and different details. We're going to go over hazard pay in this video. We're going to go over rental assistance in this video. We're going to go over the $2,000 stimulus checks in this video. We're going to go over how some people might be getting $3,200 and the $2,000 per month stimulus package is back on the table, boys. We're going to give you all the details of it in this video. This is going to be a good one, so make sure to watch all the way to the end. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on new update videos regarding the third stimulus check and upcoming stimulus checks and packages and different buckets of money that you can claim from the government. And give this video a like down below. It really helps out our channel. All right, let's jump right into it. Today, we're supposed to be getting more guidance on the PPP loans or PPP grants, Paycheck Protection Program. Basically, if you have a small business or any type of side hustle that you get 1099 done or you're a gig worker, you drive for Uber, you sell for Amazon, do anything as a side gig uh, and you get 1099, you can get a grant or a PPP loan that's a forgivable loan, basically a stimulus check. Um, from the government through the PPP program. There's new information coming out on it today from the second stimulus package that has more money from that. I will be having updates for you guys in that video. They say up to uh, as high as 50% of the United States can qualify for these type of loans because they have side gigs. They earn a little bit of money on the internet or selling things on Etsy or on Amazon or anything like they drive for Uber and Lyft. Those are big ones now. So yes, make sure you're subscribed. I will be keeping you updated as new information comes out about that possibly today. Next up, in no particular order, because we got a lot of hot news going on right now, Joe Biden is planning several executive orders on his first day in office. Um, the president-elect is expected to sign at least a dozen executive orders on either the first day or the second day, which is his first full day. There's going to be a lot going on there with executive orders. In fact, for multiple different news sources say that he actually might be signing executive orders for the first 10 days in office with multiple executive orders going on almost every single day. Ron Klain, Biden's incoming White House chief of staff, wrote in a memo that the orders will focus on four things, the COVID crisis, the resulting economic crisis, the climate crisis, and racial equity crisis. He said the orders will be accompanied by a robust legislative agenda. Quote, these executive actions will deliver relief to millions of Americans that are struggling in the face of these crises. President-elect Biden will take action not just to reverse the gravest damage of the Trump administration, this is his quote, again, this is not something I'm saying, but also to start moving our country forward. So lots of possibilities there uh, with at least a dozen executive orders, they say, within the first 10 days. I will be keeping you updated on this as well going forward. The $2,000 per month stimulus push is starting to get new life. Now, remember that Bernie Sanders, who Joe Biden considers his right-hand man and has made the Senate budget chairman now going forward, and Kamala Harris, who is the vice president now under Joe Biden, are the two main people that pushed for $2,000 per month. And now that they're basically coming into more power now, uh, as opposed to you know Kamala Harris being a previous senator, now vice president, and Bernie Sanders now getting more power in the Senate also, the $2,000 monthly stimulus checks is getting a new breath of life and is starting to get new publicity and a new push for them. Senator Ed Markey says, when this pandemic began, Kamala Harris and Bernie Sanders and I fought for $2,000 payments, I'm sorry, $2,000 monthly payments for the American people. Those are payments that go until the pandemic is over. The fight that continues and when Joe Biden is sworn in as president, 
we will immediately get to work delivering this badly needed relief. $2,000 monthly payments for people. This new push is starting to grow stronger and stronger. And this is a very real possibility now that the Democrats have control of the House, the Senate, and the presidency. Now, personally, just so people don't get disappointed, it's it's funny how they'll pass a stimulus check and there, there'll be lots of people disappointed. So let me just tell you guys my opinion of what I think will happen. I definitely think they're going to pass this first stimulus check of $1,400 to possibly as high as $2,000 one-time payment. I think they're going to pass this first, okay? Now, they're pushing for more, which we're going to get to here in a second. I personally think the first stimulus check under Biden is going to probably be $1,400 or $2,000. It'll be $3,200 for some people, which I'll get to here in a second. But I expect that first payment to be $1,400 to $2,000, probably most likely $1,400 but they're pushing for 2000 one time payment. So I don't want everybody to get all all upset that there's not more I mean personally I think that's 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 kind of a lot. I mean $1400 per person if you're a family of four uh what is that $5600 is is my quick math correct? That's a good payment especially because we just got $600. Now of course if you're just a single person it's not as much, but I mean, two thousand dollars is is nothing to sneeze at. I mean, it's definitely a step in the right direction. But as I see this pandemic going on, I mean, we're literally hitting record high cases of deaths and positive cases, people catching the virus, and you know, with a positive test and new strains coming in. And I don't see this pandemic going away for any time soon. And I think that's where. After, I think they're going to try to push this first deck, uh, first check through pretty quickly and get it done. And I also think that they're trying to get 60 votes. So they're going to try to get some Republicans on board. But I think after that is when they're going to kind of kind of <laughs> how do I say this uh, without offending people? I think the Democrats are just going to kind of ram some some bills through uh kind of shove them down the Republicans throat. And it's not that I'm a Republican or a Democrat. I just think that this is what's going to happen. Because they're going to use that Reconciliation Act where basically they can pass a stimulus package or stimulus bills without any Republican support by using the Reconciliation Act, which only requires 51 votes in the Senate. They have 50 votes, and then the tiebreaker vote goes to Kamala Harris. So I personally think they're going to pass this first check and package through. They may have to negotiate a little bit, in, especially if they're trying to get 10 Republican uh, votes. They'll probably have to negotiate a little bit. But remember, Mitch McConnell can't block the bill, so they have to vote on it. So they could literally vote on it in the Senate. Maybe it gets declined because they try to push too much through. Then they can negotiate a little bit and then like a day or two later pass it uh, by negotiating with the Republicans. So this, what probably I think is probably, and again, this stuff changes by the day. But I think they're going to probably pass this $1,400 to $2,000 check first with the unemployment extension and the mortgage uh, rental assistance and the hazard pay that's in there that I'll go over here in a second. All these different buckets of money that are in that package. I think they're going to push that through pretty quickly and try to get Republican support. But then they're going to be like, well, you know, the pandemic's still going on and, you know, it's February now. And, uh, you know, we, we know that it's still continuing. It's not going to be gone. So we need to pass more. And I think that's when they're going to pass more and the Republicans aren't going to like it. And there's not going to be anything they can do. Because with that Reconciliation Act, the Democrats can pass the bill in the House by themselves. And they can pass the bill in the Senate by themselves. And honestly, if, there's, if you're a Republican or you're against this or you don't like it, it's just kind of, there's nothing you can do because this is the, the results of the election. Now, this is only going to be for two years because I personally expect that the Republicans will win either the House or the Senate going forward because they have a very slim margin of lead, the slimmest of slim margins in the Senate and very slim now in the House. So I don't expect the Democrats to hold both of these going forward um, for more than the two years. Okay, so... I think they're going to ram a bunch of bills through, a bunch of stimulus packages and stimulus checks after this first one, and it is what it is. If you ask Democrats, when the Republicans did this, they used the Reconciliation Act for the, the Trump tax cuts 
back in 2016 or 2017, they did this exact same thing. So again, when one party has all the power, it's just what happens. In this case, it's really not all that bad for the American people like you guys because you're going to get more stimulus checks and stimulus packages and uh, unemployment packages and hazard pay and um, I, I mean, mortgage and rental assistance and Social Security increases and student loan forgiveness. I mean, they're going to throw everything in the kitchen sink in there and just kind of pass it. And a lot of Republicans are going to throw a fit, but the Democrats threw a fit when the Trump was passing the, the Trump tax cuts. So uh, it is what it is, but it's actually good news for a lot of you guys. Okay, next up, the third stimulus check package that was released by Biden, what, I don't know, about 48 hours ago, two days ago. Um, the outline of that calls for an extension of the SNAP increase by 15% all the way until September 30th and back hazard pay for essential workers, as you can see right here. Now, there's several different possibilities that can happen for hazard pay. Number one is through the money that is going to go to state and local cities. There's about $350 billion in the state and local city money. Number one, some of that money is going to come back to you guys in the form of state and local rental assistance programs, which we'll talk about actually more here in a second. Those are really great because they can literally mean $5,000 in your pocket when they pay your rent for a two, three, four, five, six months, depending on the state and the city and the program. Okay. So one, state and local city money is good because of rental assistance programs. Two, states can provide that through hazard pay. Okay. The next thing is, is Joe Biden is pushing certain, and we don't really have all the details of who will qualify for this hazard pay yet, but it's good to see that they're pushing for this. He basically says frontline workers, people who deserve hazard pay. He's pushing CEOs, or he's going to, I should say, once he comes in office, which is now in three days, he's going to push CEOs to pay hazard pay to people that are uh, basically their life is threatened if they're on the front line and basically they have a much higher chance of catching the virus. Okay. So one is he's going to push CEOs to do this. And some co co companies will, some companies won't companies that have billions and billions of dollars will probably just do it because one, it'll make them look good. And two, it'll provide a bonus to their workers. Some companies are already doing this. Amazon and Walmart have already done this multiple different times. But Joe Biden is going to push them to do it again or do it for the first time. And number two or number three, whatever number we're on at this point, um, Joe Biden says that if they don't do it, he'll make it law. OK, and then he'll force them to do it and he'll be able to force them to do it based on if they have a higher risk of catching the virus. So if they have a certain percentage, for example, let's just say grocery workers, if they do a study and they find out that grocery store workers have a 50% higher chance of catching the virus, if you work in the front of the grocery store, maybe say not in the back or whatever, if they come out with a study that says that, they can, based on those guidelines, force companies that put people in those positions to pay hazard pay. Now, He's probably not going to push for that at first, but he that is in the outline there that they can do that going forward. So multiple different possibilities for hazard pay coming out in the future from this third stimulus check package. As always, I will keep you updated on that as well. Next up, rental assistance. These are just some of the headlines I'm starting to see. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan has announced Thursday that the state of Maryland is eligible for an estimated $402 million in federal rent assistance available. Next up, Illinois is also going to receive millions of dollars for rental assistance. Minnesota prepares for $375 million in federal rental assistance. So basically, every single state is going to be getting a new injection of money here within the next week or two of new money from the second stimulus check package. And when they pass the third stimulus check package, they're going to be getting even more money uh, in two different ways. They're going to be getting money from the direct rental assistance. There's $30 billion in the third stimulus check package. And they're also going to be getting $350 billion 
that's going to the states and cities, of which some of that money they will reappropriate to rental assistance also. So that's basically three different buckets of money that are going to be coming directly to you guys in the form of rental assistance within the next week or two. The second stimulus check package has $25 billion that is being sent out to states right now. Some money goes to every single state in the United States, and they have to give that back to you guys on rental assistance. So basically that money is going to the states right now. And when the states get it, it's going to take them a little bit of time to process. Some states already have it, and they're processing it right now, and they're going to be reopening their rental assistance program. So if you got a rental assistance check or uh, money last time around, it's very likely those same programs are going to open. So what you can do is Google them or Google rental assistance in your city. I will be updating you guys on all sorts of these when they come out. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be hot news because there's going to be like, oh, Miami has $500 million in rental assistance. California has a billion dollars in rental assistance. New York has $500 million in rental assistance. So we will be going over that to kind of help you guys through this. But if you got rental assistance from a previous package, it's likely that they're going to reopen those now. So what will happen is, if you go to like New York rental assistance on Google, you'll see that it's probably closed right now. But that same website, that same uh, program will be likely reopening here within the next week or two. So as always, we are a big family here on this channel. So our viewers will be telling you down below, hey, this program just opened. Hey, that program just opened. Hey, uh, Minnesota's... Uh, rental assistance program is now open. Hey, I just got $5,000 in rental assistance for Iowa or for Texas. Okay. Our community is an absolute amazing community down below in the comments. You will start to see over the next few upcoming days, different States and different cities and different packages reopening. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you're reading the comments. If you know of any rental assistance programs for your state, or your city, as soon as they open, comment them down below in the upcoming videos. And if you see any of those, give those comments a like, because the more likes a specific comment gets, the higher it raises to the top. And remember, my average video gets like 2,000 comments on every single video. So when you see those important comments that help out everybody, give those comments a like, maybe even comment underneath their comments saying, thank you so much. You're a big help. Let's get those comments to the top. Of course, I will be sharing some with you guys directly on camera, but let's get as much visibility on these as we can going forward. Because honestly, if, if you find out about one of these programs that you didn't know about and it gives you $3,000 to pay your rent, you're going to be like, hey, the It's Jimmy community is an absolutely amazing place to, to hang out and watch videos and interact with our people because, hey, it just got you $3,000 to pay your rent. And that's like pretty amazing. So those are going to be coming out very soon. So make sure you're subscribed down below. Click the bell icon and click all notifications so you get a notification when we go live. But the easiest thing to remember is new videos come out at 10 a.m., 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. So you can just tune in at those times or when you're available and every day those comes out. Some days when there's big breaking news, we have an additional video at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you're in a different time zone, just kind of adjust for those times. Thanks for watching, guys. You can click this top video here to watch my newest stimulus check video next. And this video teaches you how to start your own business selling products on Amazon FBA. I have dozens of students that have replaced their 9 to 5 income selling products on Amazon, and I teach them how to do that. Click on one of those videos to watch them next. Thanks, guys. I will see you in the next video.